So starting out here, we've got our level line chalked from column to column showing where we want the bottom of our splashboard to be. Uh, these are set up a little bit higher than we would see in the field typically, uh, just to show the installation process so we can see the bottom of everything we're doing here. So there's a hole in the bottom of this bracket we're gonna line up. Start pre-drilling our hole there. run it in at least the uh, inch and a quarter required for these one inch concrete nails. That's gonna be the same fastener we're using in every other application for putting wood splashboards on these perma columns. So we're gonna stick that right in the hole we just drilled. Then we'll take the clamp off so I don't smoke it. So that first one I used a clamp to put it in place. Uh, that makes things easier. I generally like it that way, uh, but you don't necessarily have to, right? If you can feel comfortable holding it up to the level line. So line it up with our chalk line there, find the hole, get us a pilot. Shooting right for the middle of that perma column so we don't hit the rebar. One more for good luck. This corner column is gonna get two brackets so we can have our splashboard meeting on the outside corner of the building. You gotta watch out for that seam in the form on this corner. As you can tell, this is going pretty quick. Um, not a whole lot to it really. 